All right, here's a, a great problem. This is the kitchen sink problem. It's got everything in it. We are going to graph. Our basic shape here is going to be the x squared. That's the f of x is the x squared, which is a, a parabola. And I call it a smiley face. And we, here's our transformations. Let's see what we have. We have the g of x is a negative 2 and then x plus 5 squared plus 3. So we have four different things happening here. And I like to go from left to right. First thing I see is this negative on the outside, OK? And that is a reflection. That's going to take all of my y values from up here and bring them down. So it's going to reflect it over the x-axis. Next thing I have is this 2, which takes all my values and doubles them. So that is going to stretch it this way. It's going to stretch it vertically. The plus 5 belongs to the x, so it shifts it on the x-axis. That's going to shift it 5 units to the left. And then the plus 3 does not belong to the x, so we say it belongs to the y. It's going to shift it on the y-axis, and that's going to be 3 up. So let's pick the right letter here, A, B, C, or D. Should be not A. Let's see, B. Horizontally, five units to the right. No, nope. it's going to be five units to the left. Let's see, C. Five units. No, nope, not C. Let's look at D. All right, shifted to the left five units, correct. Stretched vertically by a factor of two, correct. Reflected around the x-axis and shifted up three units. It's going to be D. D is going to be your answer. All right, so I have up there what's happening. Let me check my answer and good job. And then I'm going to grab my graph over here. Here's my graph. When I click on it, my toolbar is going to pop up to allow me to graph a parabola. Here it is, right down here, the smiley face. Click on the parabola. It doesn't matter where on the graph that I click. It's going to give me a parabola at 0, 0. And now I need to use this little box to do the transformations. So I like to go from left to right. First, let's reflect it over the x-axis. I just check this box here. Now watch the graph. Watch the graph flip down. There it is. Now I'm going to stretch it by a factor of two, so that's a vertical stretch. I grab this little slider and I go to two and watch the graph. See how it stretches? One, two, one, two. Then I'm going five to the left, so that is a horizontal shift. Now I need to put a minus five if it's going to the left. And then I have a vertical shift, three. So I need to put a three and then watch the graph go up three. There it is. Close my little dialog box here and check my answer. Well done. Fantastic.